Any jockey will tell you that. Unfortunately, falls are a part of racing. Jump jockeys take a tumble on average once every 16 rides. And while the rate is much less for flat jockeys, the risk of serious injury due to traveling at speed is much greater. When injury strikes, the aim is to get back into the saddle as quickly as possible, as time away can cost rides and an awful lot of lost earnings. This is something that former UAE champion jockey Wayne Smith knows all too well, having suffered a broken collarbone in a fall at Jebel Ali in December. Enter cryotherapy, a form of treatment which relies on temperatures as low as minus 140 degrees centigrade to stimulate blood circulation and speed up recovery. The use of cold temperatures to treat injuries actually dates back to ancient Egyptian times. But luckily for Wayne, it is available much closer to home, at the plush Cryo Health in Emirates Towers. Do you reckon it significantly speeded up your recovery? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, the improvement within the first five sessions of being in there um, was amazing. I mean, I felt um, after two weeks I could have got back on a horse and started riding again. I felt that good. All the pain had gone. I wasn't feeling any pain, any strain on it or anything. So um, it was very good. Enough talking. After donning some fetching mittens and slippers, it was time for Wayne to step into the icy box for three minutes at some of the coldest temperatures found on Earth. You've been in there for 30 seconds, how are you doing? Yeah, it just feels normal at the minute, Laura. It's like the cold really hasn't started to hit yet, so you can just feel it now rising from the bottom. So I'd say in another 30 seconds, I'll start to feel the real chill of it. And it's your hands and feet that it affects first, is it? Uh, you start to feel it, like there's the mittens on, not your feet, but you start to feel it coming up like on your knees. First you start to feel it and then coming up through your body, you know, most of your joints you start to feel most of the cold first. You've done a minute, so you've got two minutes left. Does it feel like you've been in there for a lot longer? No, a minute I actually thought I was in a little bit less there now, but um, that's good. But once you get to the second minute now, you'll, you'll really start to feel like, okay, I'm starting to get enough, your muscles will really start to like feel a little bit stiff, you know, they'll start to tighten up on you. And the last 30 seconds of the three minutes now, you'll be, you'll be ready to jump out the door as soon as it opens. Now I can start to feel like the, the muscles, like the, my calves and, and uh, the backs of my arms now really starting to freeze, you know. Um, it's like going stiff, so I'm starting to feel like a little uh, frozen steak in here now at the minute. All right, three, <laughs> two, one. They're tough, these jockeys. Wayne emerged from the tank with barely a shiver. And after he warmed up on the nearby exercise bike, it was time to find out from General Manager Ali just how cryotherapy works. The science behind it is that when you're exposed to such cold temperatures, the majority of the blood in the body rushes to the core, the heart, the lung, the kidney, these areas are the most important parts. So at the same time your head is exposed, you're inhaling the normal amount of oxygen. It just means that the blood concentrated in a small area has access to a lot more of the oxygen than it would do if it was in your other outer limbs. So the second you step out of the chamber, all that oxygen-filled blood just rushes back across the rest of the body. So in the process of doing that, it flushes out your toxins, it allows for the minerals and nutrients to be delivered around a lot more efficiently. Uh, the energy and the adrenaline required to do the circulation is done through the metabolic system, um, and that's got a huge variety of benefits to it when the metabolic system is given a boost. When you're exposed to such cold temperatures, it slows down the release of white blood cells to the outer extremities. So your white blood cells, they impede your healing, they slow down the process of recovery, they basically let your brain know that there's a pain going on in a particular area. So when there's less of these going to, for example, Wayne's shoulder, he, the brain forgets there's pain there and allows for the recovery process to happen a lot more swifter. For something such as the scar, the healing process is that there's a flush of red blood cells and oxygen to the surface of the skin and as well as scars to other different conditions, it's very good for the skin and the body. Wayne is not the only professional jockey to use the treatment. UK champion jumps jockey Tony McCoy is also a fan, as is Ryan Moore and top footballer Cristiano Ronaldo, 
who even had his own chamber installed. There are also aesthetic benefits to be had from the treatment, meaning that Wayne should be looking fresher than usual, even after pushing six horses up that Jebel Ali hill. The energy um, required to do the circulation, your surface temperature drops, so for it to get back to normal temperature, you're using energy. Um, so you'll be burning around 600 to 800 calories. Um, but that's not its primary objective, it's just a, a benefit that comes with it. So, next time you complain about freezing temperatures, or the air conditioning being just that little bit too cold, just consider, Dubai's tough breed of jockeys will endure pretty much anything to get back in the saddle.